peace love and light what's going on guys it's your girl crystal the raw spiritual guru coming through with another pack of cards so first and foremost if you're first if this is your first time coming through welcome if you're returning thank you for returning to all thank you for your time and your energy you could be anywhere but you're here with me today and for that i thank you all right guys if you don't know the ic is named after my metaphysical shop where you can find your handmade magical crystal jewels and tools you dig some magic potions wands you name it i got it you dig all right so support your girl support small businesses support your girl below roots of life one two three dot com or you can always donate as well guys we have three piles to choose from who is watching you and why who is watching you and why okay pile number one is the selenite pendant pile number two is the amazing night organite ashtray and pile number three is the extra large copper hoop earrings and these are all on my website roosoflife123.com all available for sale my loves pile number one the selenite pendant pile number two and the amazing night ashtray and pile number three the copper extra large earrings so you could pause the video see which pile you want to um pick which one is resonating to your spirit and then move forward but we're going to start right now with pile number one okay and this is a ring that i am just wearing it's also at my shop as well it's unikite amethyst and rose quartz i have big ring statement pieces so i am wearing this for the video but it's available for purchase as well all right love so let's first see who who is watching you we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Swords. The possible, and we have the Sun. All right, so you have a, either a Leo or a possible Air sign. It could be any sign, but this person could either have Leo heavy in their chart or any Air sign heavy in their chart. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But it don't necessarily have to be those signs but they can have those placements in their chart as well i'm showing that as far as who it could definitely be it could definitely be someone that you either have a new beginning with so it could be someone that you have a new beginning with it could be someone that you may have um have someone that you may have problems with so i'm reading for a lot of people so a couple different messages is coming to me at once so it could be someone that you have a new beginning with it could be someone that you may have either currently be having problems with or may have had problems with that got you in like an, an anxiety or a stress energy someone that's keeping you up all night someone that's um, heavy on your mind it could be a child um, that's watching you it could be either a child or someone that's very young and youthful someone that um maybe look up to you um i'm showing that it could be someone who is very like cutthroat could be kind of like i got a couple older energies couple younger energies definitely got someone that may have um hurt your feelings or or may have put you in a mindset where you're like experiencing some type of stress and anxiety definitely someone it could be someone you possibly um may have had some type of words with or maybe you guys may have worked together on some type of creative endeavor maybe you work together it's a couple different type of people that's watching you i'm showing there's at least three to four people that's watching you file number one definitely at least three people watching you but i'm definitely can feel like it could be a couple people at work it could be someone that you may have had a um, issue with that you know now stressing about you or you're stressing about them it could be someone that's 
um, younger than you, or it could be a child, someone that's very childlike, younger than you, but this person um, can be very wild and free. This person can be like someone that just like stands on their own and walks to their own beat that's watching you as well. Let's see why. Why is this person or people watching pile number one? We have engagement. Nothing will come of the situation. Acceptance. Door to personal healing and happiness. Family and a white picket fence. Okay, so for some of you guys, the reason why they are watching you with engagement being here as well as family and a white picket fence um, this person is watching you because they could see a higher level of commitment with you. This person definitely, um, this person definitely could see a higher level of commitment with you. This person can want either a relationship with you or you could have somebody that you're currently in a relationship with watching you. And they could be just trying to see if you husband or wifey type. But this person definitely could see a future with you, kids in the house as well. This person definitely wants some type of long-term connection. I'm also showing that the reason why these people are watching you is because um, with the door to personal healing and happiness as well as acceptance being here, people are watching you because it looks as though that you are kind of like doing your own thing. You're walking to your own beat. You have accepted things in your life that you can't change and the things that you're in your life that you can you are allowing the ebb and flow of reality to go for you and whatever your reality is to you but they're watching you because it's like a jealousy um it's like a jealousy in a sense you might have people up all night in their head because you are healing and you are happy and this these people or this person can't do that and is the reason is because you accepted everything that you needed to accept in order for you to move forward but people are jealous of you and they're watching you because they just think you're too happy. With this, nothing will come of this situation for Void Course Moon. Even with the people that's currently hating on you or just watching you in general, their why don't really matter because nothing is going to come out of it. It's like they're watching you just for either their own entertainment or they might have a crush on you and really want more with you but it's not going to advance or move forward. Um, or it just looks as though that, you know, whatever they want is not going to manifest. People really see that you love yourself. It's like you're embracing a lot of self-love. You're more grounded. And... Um, they can't help but to watch you it's like they see a lot of healing and happiness come into your life like i'm just getting an old friend as well for some of you guys that picked this pile it could be someone that you knew when you guys were younger um an old friend that maybe you disconnected from or was kind of worse and some type of jealousy or unspoken jealousy or hate um but people are watching your growth So we're going to just get some more additional messages as to who um, who's watching you. Okay. Who's watching pile number one, Spirit? Who's watching pile number one? 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 All right, we're just going to take these. You got King, Queen, User, Con, Artist. Music is life. 444. 30. Victory. Good kisser. Success and money. Alright, so these are some additional messages as to who is watching you. So it could be someone in their 30s. They could be 30 or in their 30s. This person could be someone that's known to be a user or a con artist 
this person can also be a king or a queen energy as well and or this person could have money and be successful that's currently watching you this person could be some type of artist um and they enjoy music so they can either make music or they like music um music is life they can even make music or like music this person wants victory with you this person is a good kisser as well okay so this person is a good kisser both ways you dig but this person could want some type of victory with you so you could um have a couple of different energies as well this could be a couple different energies this could be um a couple energies for the same person but these are your additional messages okay all right so power number one that was your reading if you liked it please make sure you like share and subscribe thank you guys for your time peace all right so how number two for those who chose this beautiful amazing night organite ashtray by yours truly and these are the latest on the website so check them out even if you are if you do smoke i have the ashtrays as well as smoke rings that you can check out on the website all right so who's watching you you have the page of swords the six of pentacles and the two of swords so it could be an air sign or earth sign don't necessarily have to be but those are the signs that's here so that's air is libra gemini and aquarius or earth is virgo capricorn and taurus all right so they can have heavy placements in their chart it could also be a moon sign which could be a cancer as well but they could just have those placements in their chart not necessarily um but who's watching you i'm definitely getting you got a younger energy that's watching you you got an older energy that's watching you and then you got an energy that's like um trying not to watch you with this two of um swords being here you have an energy that's like trying to like they're watching you but it's like one of those like not really trying to watch you or keep up with you but it tends to always happen um you have someone that maybe you have um gave something to or received something from this person that's watching you maybe um i'm getting like this could be a middle-aged person that's watching you the person color they might have a favorite color as red um with the page of swords being here you definitely could have a younger person watching you as well someone that's very witty and quick with it very outspoken you have some you have someone that's um very action oriented very outspoken um and just like ready to take take on challenges and take on the world you have someone that's giving but also wants to receive that's currently watching you you have someone that um it could be someone that's either less fortunate than you like be someone that might be um less fortunate than you and don't really have um and maybe you gave this person something and you know it triggered like um everlasting memory um or it could just be someone that's just less fortunate of you or someone that's more fortunate than you that's watching you and then it could also be someone that maybe um is a bit confused that's watching you maybe you couldn't entertain this person um with this two of swords being here there's a possibility you could have entertained this person or you might have your guard up towards this person but a guard is being up with another person they could be a bit confused as well so we're gonna say why why are they watching you you have stop step out of your comfort zone children 
bittersweet temple pad sex and floor play um hmm all right so going back to the childish energy right so the person that's watching you with children being here this person could be a bit childish you have a childish energy watching you someone that's like really immature very like childlike immature it might be someone that's very annoying immature just play games a lot um you could possibly have someone like a child's mother or father that's currently watching you as well someone that you have children with your baby mama or baby daddy could be watching you they could be watching you because they feel as though that the connection that you guys had is bittersweet that um maybe you guys have you know the children together but they want more with you they want sex and foreplay with you okay they want more with you okay they are watching you um if you're not if you don't have any kids then the childish you could just have someone childish around you that's just really um that's watching you very immature you could also um be a very sexual person so a lot of people might watch you because they enjoy watching you and pleasing themselves off of you i know that's a lot but that came out okay so they could be watching you because um this is something that they want with you maybe they idolize you or fantasize about you sexually um they're watching you because you are very spiritual and then this also gets gets them off the fact that you might be spiritual so they're watching you because you are highly spiritual you're following your spirituality your spiritual path and um people see you as like very sexy and they could definitely probably want to do all types of things with you but step out of your comfort zone being here as to um why they're watching you maybe um you do a lot of things that's like a, a, the average person what might be scared to do or nervous to do in front of people maybe you might be um a showstopper or a person that don't mind being the center of attention excuse me even if you're not the center of attention type of person it's like you might get tossed into activities that make you the center of attention type of person um but people like you they're watching you well somebody might like you too but people are watching you because they feel as though that you um do your own thing and you go with your own flow it's like you don't try to appease nobody just do you so we got some additional messages as to who is watching you okay Who's watching file number two? 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 Alright. So file number two, the additional messages as to who is watching you. Move, relocate, long care, vacation please, future money father all right so one of your parents can be watching you your father can be watching you um someone that may have moved or relocated could be watching you someone that maybe you met on vacation could be watching you someone who has long hair could be watching you someone who see a future with you could be watching you as well someone that has money could be watching you as well like i said someone that might be above you either below you or above you like that might be watching you as well all right so those were your additional messages if you like the reading or if it resonated my loves please make sure you like and subscribe and join the tribe you dig until next time peace all right so pile number three pile number three the ones that chose these big copper earrings look look how big they are that's my that's my hand
Okay. The big popper hoops. This is going to be your routine. So, first, who's watching you, pile number three? Who is watching you? We have the five of wands and the four of swords. So, who is watching you? You have earth energy and fire, excuse me, air energy and fire energy. So, it could be a Sag, Aries, or a Leo, or it could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. It don't necessarily have to be those signs, but it could be those signs, or they could have those um, signs in their chart heavy. So, whoever is watching you, <laughs> it could be someone that you may have had a fight with or a fallen out with. Someone that you may have had some type of conflict with, struggles with, a battle with. It could be a disconnect that you had with this person, with these two being here in general. With the five of wands and then the four of swords right there that you retreated your energy from. It could be someone that you may have broke up with, that you may have ended things with. Like, I'm just hearing someone that you was fighting with that you ended up leaving alone basically somebody that you had an altercation with that you ended up disconnecting from or leaving alone that might be watching you okay um this person may have you, you or this person you and this person could have had a fight and they may have just left you alone you, like vice versa this person could have just left you after the, the um disconnect but all in all, I'm showing that it was a uh, some type of ending or a major um, fight of some kind that took place that disconnected this. So you definitely know this person that's watching you. It could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But it was some type of large fight altercation that kind of like made you guys stop talking so this person you guys are in no contact with whether you withdrew your energy from them or vice versa you guys aren't in contact with i'm just showing like um someone that she had some type of argument or disconnect with that you no longer are in contact with is watching you all right so why is this person watching you and why are these people watching you why is this person watching you you have nothing yet is set in stone. Have faith in your dreams. Rejection. Attachment. Romantic feelings. New love. Three is a crowd. Look out. All right. Um. I just wanted I just want sex was trying to come out too as well as with the three of the crowd look out. So why is this person watching you? This person is watching you because they have an attachment to you and they feel rejected. So um like I said with this story, whatever resonates, you or them, whoever ended stop speaking no contact whatever whoever ended the conversation that's either you or them but why they're watching you is because they feel rejected by you they feel as though that this person have a strong attachment to you especially when it comes to feelings so you could have this definitely could be x5 or someone you had feelings for this person feels as though that um either either you have a new love and they're watching you with your new love but they still have an attachment to you because they have romantic feelings and they feel as though that they're going to be rejected if they do try to come to you but this person don't feel as though that this person feels as though that they rather take the leap of faith than not take the jump at all because nothing is set in stone if you have somebody else because they believe in their dreams and like this person kind of wants you back there's a possibility they could have put you in the third party relationship though so now this person is trying to fight that for you another scenario is another scenario is this person 
definitely still have a strong attachment to you. Um, they still feel tied to you. They still feel tied to you. And they want a new start with you. It's like they want a new start with you. They want to let you know that, you know, you stirred up their romantic feelings and that your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. But this person ultimately feel like they're going to get rejected because it's this third party. So I'm really getting a heavy relationship connection. Like you could have definitely been with this person or in a situation with this person. And it could have been other parties in the relationship too. And that could be the reason why this person is watching you. Because it's like they kind of want to take a leap of faith towards you. They feel like even if you guys aren't talking, nothing is set in stone yet. Just because you're not talking today, that don't necessarily mean you're not going to be talking tomorrow. That ultimately they do want a new beginning with you. They have feelings for you. They feel attached to you. They just don't want the rejection that might come about it. Because maybe the last conversation you guys did have was very heated. But they have faith that whatever path or decision they choose to you will be beneficial to them. It's like they're just trying to move when it will be best for them to move. They don't want to like rush in or take like um, a leap of faith with their feelings just yet. Just because whatever situation you guys went through, it was really fiery i would say that it was very fiery but it all goes back to a third party so maybe you guys was in a situation from some other outside party a third party came through um and it could be a third party in any way it don't necessarily have to just be like cheating it could just be like an aunt or an uncle or mom or just a friend or somebody coming into you guys's life that kind of disturb disturbed it and got you guys on the outs and that's like i said don't necessarily solely have to be love it could be like you know with your friends and your family and more so what i'm getting with this with friends and family is um you know they want to come back to you and it's a possibility that um because you might be experiencing new love in your life and you might have romantic feelings um it could probably be like you know how you have like a family member that's like your sister or your brother but they like might be your cousin it could be like one of those scenarios where you guys may have had a fall out with each other it could have been over a guy or a woman but it was over a third party one way or another okay so we're going to get some additional messages for you, pile number three. Who is watching pile number three? Who is watching pile number three? Who is watching pile number three? All right. See? Can we talk? I told you, somebody that she definitely had a fallout with. Get to the money. Bad romance, there go that love, toxic, sexy, success, king, queen, music is life. Alright, so who's watching you? You have a king, queen energy that is currently watching you. It could definitely be someone that she may have had a bad romance with that currently want to talk to you now. This person could have been crazy, toxic, but sexy as well. This person could be a sexy, toxic person with a bad romance, okay? This person could also be just somebody in general that's very toxic. This person could be very sexy or these people. It could be someone that's very successful, that's getting to the bag, getting to the money. Maybe they are exploring music as their career. Or it could just be someone that is very heavily into music an artist of some kind someone that likes music um that might make music and perform as well someone um definitely an artist okay so these are the energies that i'm getting for who is watching you okay power number three so 
that is your reading so if you liked it please make sure you like share and subscribe and join the tribe okay so until next time my love peace